Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video on the channel. Today, we're going to be doing something very exciting. We're going to be installing browse service um, on Ubuntu to be accompanied with Windows 98. So essentially if you uh, know what those two things are, great. If you don't know what browse service is, it's essentially a way to allow, without having to apply a lot of patches to Windows 98, it is going to be to allow modern websites to be written on older hardware. Now, um, I'm looking at the time now, it's uh, 10 to 6 p.m. I wanted to record this a lot earlier, but uh, <laughs> busy lifestyle gets ahead of you, doesn't it? So I'm going to show you the things that you're going to need. Um, and as you can see on here, I've got uh, my internet browser, I've got the Ubuntu page, this is what you're going to need. You're going to want to go up here, and you're going to want to click on uh, download. It's, it doesn't say download, but this is the version that I've gone for. Um, you can use any, um, I want to say it's any Linux installer that sort of supports it, but I know the commands specifically. Okay, And we're also going to need, or should, or, uh, you're also going to want a copy of Windows 98. This can be Windows 98, 2000, ME, Windows 95, any old Windows version. Okay, So uh, for here, to download it, I've just gone down here, and then I've gone on to uh, OEM full here. Okay, and that's got the most downloads, so it's going to be the most popular and it's going to work. Um, and already, if you scroll up a bit further, you're already going to see uh, license keys that can be used. Perfect, and so I don't have to go googling around. Um, and they are the two things you'll need. You're also going to you're also going to want to um, uh, use browse service, which I'm going to quickly pull up here. It is on a uh, GitHub page. I think. Where is browse service? Uh, one sec, guys. Let me just try and find browse service. Okay, I found it, and um, this is going to be the latest version, which also includes um, a GUI. Where is it? A graphical user interface for all the people out there that know what that is. It is essentially just like um, Windows. You've got a GUI to use it on. Now, just to show you my setup that I have going on here, I've got two VMs going, um, the Ubuntu one, could be any Linux distro, uh, I've got four gigs of RAM, two, is that two processors or two cores, or it might be two of both, I'm not sure. Wish it was a little bit fast, but oh well. Okay, two processors, one core. Uh, Thirty gigs on a standard hard drive, doesn't, didn't really take up that much room. Uh, you're gonna have, that one just goes in there for some reason. Oh, now I know, to do auto install. All right, yeah, and then you have this one here, which is the Ubuntu one. In the other machine, got Windows 98, got all of this, memory, processors, hard drive, CD, DVD, network adapter, USB, and all, that, all those things. And as you can see, that's the ISO image. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to um, pause the video, then I'm gonna do, because I haven't actually installed them yet, uh, I'm going to do a quick time lapse of me installing the virtual machines. Okay, so let's get started in three, two, one, go. Um, yes, this part does take a while, um, as you can clearly see. If you'd like to skip ahead, uh, please just go to the timestamp that skips past this. However, if you want to look at a time lapse, which, if anything, I'm quite fond of myself, um, please feel free to keep watching. However, I'm not going to force you to. Um, you can use the timestamps if you just wiggle your mouse or touch your screen, you can always move along. Okay? And there we are. Here is Ubuntu Windows 98 set up and configured. 
we're just going to go and skip next, next, and we're just going to get right to it because you've probably been waiting for a while. Well, no, I've been waiting for a while. What you're going to want to do is go into the terminal. So down here in the bottom left, open up the terminal, and I'm just going to do sudo su. Type in the password that you created on uh, VMware. Or if you don't make one at all, okay. Um, and you're going to want to do apt update. This will essentially contact Ubuntu's package site and it will try and update all the dependencies. So when you go and try and install something, um, it will work. So if I just quickly hop over into here and that, and that was successful. I am just going to go onto the um, Braille service page. As you can see, I'm just bringing it up here. And we're going to go on to the latest release. Okay. Now, here is the app image that we want. I'm going to right click, copy link address, put this back over here so I can see what I'm doing, and paste. Now, actually, you're going to, uh, you're going to, you're going to want to do wget and then paste it in doing right click and then paste because control V I don't think works for some odd reason. Um, once you've done that just press enter and that will just download it. You can update Ubuntu um, if you want to use a newer version you can go ahead and do that however I am just going to do it this way. And one thing you're also going to need to know is you're going to want to open up a new terminal. You can also do Control Alt T, and you're going to want to do I F Config. Thought that would happen. Wow! We heard that. There you go. Because uh, we are going to need to know that so we can connect to the internet on Windows. Okay. This will be just a really, really quick video. Because this this is sort of like a first time experience because I've used browse service in the past to um, to use the command prompt version, but now there's a GUI which I'm actually excited to look at. So we know this is the IP address up here because it is on the Ethernet adapter. This is just a local network thing. So we're going to need to remember this. Now, uh, we just do chmod plus x, I think that's for execute. You will allow the current user to execute it, and I'm going to do uh, brow and then tab to complete that file name. Press enter. And now, what should happen is if we go and do that, graphical user design, juice closes instructions. Okay, and then also you're going to want to do dash dash to get the GUI install, which is the font that you need, Verdana. Okay, let's go enter, uh, and yes, you accept. it's just downloading everything there it's been downloaded and installed and you're all good to go and now I'm just going to want to do get rid of that and to launch it let's just wait for the big reveal and I'll make sure that my microphone is actually recording which it is perfect enter oh running without root my sandbox is not supported Don't really think that far through. Okay, I guess I have to um, go out of root, do ch mod plus x brow image sudo. Okay, now I'll do brow image. So there is no GUI, which is a bit surprising because I thought that there was. Um, the HTTP server has started successfully, and one thing that I do know is that it started on the listen address to be uh, 8080. So if we go over to here now, and this should work, go to Internet Explorer, go to HTTP colon slash slash the IP address that you typed in before, which I have indeed forgotten. And now, if all has gone ahead, one three five. I've done. Yeah, I've done that correct. Hmm.
One minute, guys. I'll be right back. Just figured it out, so don't you guys worry. Or you can use the right control or left control and C to shut down uh, the server. So I'm going to quickly grab the command that I got on here. Here we go. So you're going to want to do that same command, but you're going to want to add in vice opt http listen add your address, I guess. And you're going to want to do 0000 0000 0000, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 colon 8080. I think that's what it says. She does say that. So now it started. Hopefully, it actually works. It actually works. Here is how browse service works. You might already know, but you know, go to google.co.uk, and this is the fully encrypted, as you can see by the little padlock up here, fully encrypted. Google. You can even go to YouTube, which you already know is impossible to do on uh, Windows 98 as it is. Give it a second. It's slowly loading. And here we go. There it is. You can play videos, however, it's not really that recommended because it doesn't really go that well. Um, here you go. So, yeah, you can watch videos. Now, if I can figure out how do I, uh, I guess I can make a new window. All right, so what I will do is I'm actually gonna show you to try and get onto YouTube on here. Oh, it wouldn't work. So that is why people do use Braille service, okay? Now there are different qualities you can use, but I think just for now, you can only use um, PNG. That, is probably one of the shortest videos I've ever ever done however I mean there wasn't really much to it if you just get browse service installed now you use that command every single time that you want to get browse service ready okay so once you got it all installed this is the command that you use okay I'll put this uh, command in the description but what I will do just so I don't forget is put it on a uh, notepad Where's that gone? There we go. Okay. So there's a command that I will need to be put in the description. So that is it guys uh, for today's seg... I don't want to say segment. I'll just say demonstration. I'd say demonstration. Power off. Okay, guys, so let's just get out of there. And that's their both off. But apart from that, guys, that was all for today. It was a pretty short video. Um, the whole thing's probably a few minutes long because it's not that hard to do. Um, if I've gone way too quick for you, let me know. Um, if I can, I probably won't be able to. I'll put a um, link in the description to like a text document to do a full text document on how to do it however this i want to keep it under 10 minutes because it is really really easy to do i promise okay guys have a good rest of your day i've got high hopes for this video and i hope it gets a lot of views like last time but thank you so much i cannot thank you all enough thank you very much guys um, and i will see you in the next video bye for now